Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video from my side. I mean this video is going to be special because this video is about shopping haul. You know how festive season is right around the corner and during this season you have stores giving you so many discounts and so many offers that sometimes you end up going way above your budget and also end up buying stuff that you completely do not require. So you want to see the things that I've purchased during this festive season, then you know what to do. Please do keep on watching. I'm going to start with the tiniest item that I've purchased first. So the first thing that I've purchased is this pair of earrings. Just look at them. And these so cute and beautiful. This and the other one is this. Oops. Hmm. Pretty. Now that the earrings are out of the way, let's start with bags. The purchase is this bag from Caprice. It is in such a beautiful um, lemon yellow color. Okay, it looks like this. Um, I got this for 50% discount. The actual price is around 3,999 rupees. But I got it for 1,500 something. So that was a good deal. This is this small bag from Ivory Tag. And um, see the prices of different items will be mentioned either in the description box or um, somewhere near in this video next to the image that is popping on screen so don't worry for that so this is the second bag that i purchased huge sale going out in a store that is in darjeeling called xy maybe they are closing up i don't know but um they are they are giving some ama amazing discounts so this is the first thing that i bought from x and y this is kind of a looks like a it's like a satchel bag now these are the kind of bags that i'm always always gravitate towards and i love the fact that it um has a little bit of padding and cushioning for the shoulder so, so this is um, like this it looks like this like a as a snake skin I, I actually bought this for my mom because it was a good deal it has a smaller bag inside and again which comes with the belt the smaller bag also had some like compartments so it's 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 the quality is it's okay the only bad thing about this is it has a it has a peculiar kind of smell. In terms of clothes, the first thing that I'd like to show you all is this um, kind of a kurta. It is in a rose gold peach color. It has these kind of embellishments and take a closer look. The entire cloth material is like this. And it has a belt or a dori that looks like this. Okay. And this is how it looks. Now I bought this, but then I ended up um, somehow not liking it. Um, I don't know. It, it doesn't suit me. Maybe it's the fabric. Um, it's the color. Because when I looked at it, I fell in love with it. I liked it instantly. But when I brought it home and I when I wore it on me, it just looked so horrible. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. So, you know. And then Bakrit, I had bought a Sharara that was like this. It was in pink color. Um, okay. And it has kind of um, lace, a golden lace towards the bottom of the pen. I just wanted to reuse this and not buy anything new on, um, in, on this festive season. But I wanted something to wear on top of this. So I went to this big bazaar in Siliguri. I mean, uh, Big Bazaar in Siliguri is way much better than Big Bazaar in Darjeeling. I mean, the variety of clothes that you have in the FAB section is just so amazing. So this is what I saw and I instantly liked it. But the reason why I liked the like this shirt the most was because of its lace. Look at it, how beautiful it is and how unique this is. I just thought that this would be perfect for me to wear it on top of my um, Sharara and also because I found something that just matched my Sharara to the T. So look at this dupatta. 
it seems as if this dupatta was made for my sharara. So I bought three things um, separately and how beautifully they fit and combine into one look and I'm very happy with it. I also had bought another, I think this is a garara. Um, I think that's garara and this is sharara. I don't know what's the difference between sharara and garara. But since, but with that pink one, um, the bottom was flared. Iska from the very top, it, it is flared like this. Um, so this is how it looks like. Um, I had nothing to wear on top of it again. So I actually, this time I went to this store which which sells fabric. I um, really like this material. Okay. And I purchased it in order to make a short kurti that I could wear on top of my garada. But I... <laughs> very angry at my tailor because he goofed up and very very long so i cannot use it with my garara so i think i'll wear it with a kind of a off-white churidar or something like that three i wanted to wear this dupatta so this is again this dupatta it actually is supposed to be you know it, it actually in during christian weddings they're supposed to make whales out of this running material but i just purchased this material and I added, um, I purchased this lace and I added this lace and I was thinking that, you know, it would go very wonderful with my, this kurti, with my garada and this dupatta. However, destiny had some other plans. So, yes. now this is a black dupatta um, that I fell in love with. It has lutkins. Um, on the four corners of the chunni. I bought this Banarasi dupatta I bought this Banarasi dupatta it is such a beautiful color it's a beautiful bright orange color and you can see for yourself it is very pretty beautiful this is the other dupatta that I bought and this is a very simple ordinary kind of white dupatta I don't know why I gravitate towards so much towards white dupattas this is the, the one that I bought. This one is, I think this is pure white and this is off white. So again, there's a difference. This is all that I've purchased, but there's one clothing item more. And that is a gift for me from my cousin's sister's side. I'll share this with you all. It is a beautiful kurta kam gown. And it is semi-stitched and it looks like this. Okay, the color is a beautiful blue. And it has all the zari work done towards the neck side, zari work done towards the bazu. Okay. At the back, um, the kurda is plain. However, towards the bottom, towards the damal or the front side, you can see gamut of ari work done. So it is very beautiful. Along with it came, so along with it came this material. I don't know whether this is the inner lining or this is for the shalwar. I don't know. What this kurta came with was a plain net dupatta, which had lace all over. Just this, okay. And this was all plain dupatta. What I did was that I purchased some rhinestones from a shop, and I ordered, and I also bought a fabric glue. And I sticked these rhinestones with that fabric glue all over this plain looking net dupatta. And this has turned into such a beautiful chunni. Um, you can see it for yourself. So well, that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. And um, again the drill is if you are already subscribed to my channel please like this video please don't forget to comment on this video if you've not subscribed as of now then please do consider subscribing to my channel because i come up with such um kind of i don't know regular videos the kind of videos that i feel like sharing with you um that is it bye and i will see you soon